Hello everybody. In this video I will go over how we can import custom graphics like this little uh, University of Southern Mississippi logo here on our PCB boards. That took me some time to figure it out and like many things uh, Fusion Electronics they're not as straightforward as you would like them to be but it is possible so let's get started. All right so as with all electronics the first thing to do is to start a new electronic design, create a new schematics, and while it is not necessary here, place some kind of component in your schematics just for scale. And then once we have the component placed in our schematics, we can switch to our PCB board and place our component into our board. Maybe I want to change this outline here a little bit to make it somewhat smaller board. Here, let's say this is our PCB board. And I would have like to have this uh, university logo here to be printed out when I send my board out for manufacturing. So the way to go about it is actually first to produce the appropriate uh, graphics and the graphics needs to be a bitmap and it cannot have more than 265 colors. So this actually can be done using software which comes with uh, Windows, for example PowerPoint. So this is the image I'm going to use to put on my PCB and this is a pretty large image. So first I want to reduce the image size. So you can simply take this image, copy it and make it smaller. And about the size here seems to be a good size to be on my PCB and then right click save picture and I can simply save my picture here in this case a uh, picture let's make it picture one and then I can find this picture and open it with PowerPoint so better open with not with PowerPoint open it with paint so here now is my picture and then I can save it right away Oops, not save save as and the format I want to choose to save it is actually the monochrome bitmap. Let's say save. And it warns me here that I will lose uh, color and resolution. And I say OK. And then I can close this and I can maybe bring this new picture back into PowerPoint. And you can see now. Here's my picture and all the, the, the gray, color, gray color here is gone. So this is the image I want to import into PCB. And you can see here the, the size of this image really is uh, not all that large anymore. And this is important because the script we will use to convert our image into a form which can be handled by Fusion Electronics uh, will run significantly longer if the, the file is bigger than, than what it needs to be. All right, so with this picture generated, what I can do now, I can go to automation, I can go to ULP, and then I can search for a script import, import bitmap image into Eagle drawing. There's also this import DXF file, which supposedly can handle vector graphics. I haven't used those yet, but that might be another option to, to uh, import custom graphics onto your PCB board. But let's go with the uh, bitmap. There is some explanation here. You can read it, but you don't have to, because if you click OK, it gives you a second chance to read it. And if you then click OK again, then now we can select this image we have just created. So here is my picture one. And now I can uh, select a color and I want to import the black part of my picture here. So I say OK. And here I can uh, scale my image and I also can tell him onto what layer the image is imported. I like to put the image onto layer 200 here to start with because typically on layer 200 I have nothing else and it makes it easier to select the picture, move it around and then uh, I can push it to whatever layer I want my image to ultimately uh, end up on. So I also can have a little preview here. So here's my image. It all looks good. 
and then you can scale your image by, by the scaling factor here. And this is actually the only time where you can scale your image. So it's a little bit of trial and error to, to get the right image size. Uh, again, as a fusion electronics, it is really not as convenient as, as you would hope it to be. But you can make it work with, with some trickery. So let's press OK. And uh, we then say run the script. And you will see here the image will slowly build up. We can maybe zoom in onto it here. All right, fantastic. So here we have our image. And uh, what I like to do then is actually go into our selection filter here. And only select layer 200. Because imagine this is a busy PCB, which in this case it is not. Uh, it will be difficult to just select this part here. But with the selection filter, I can highlight just the image and then I can move it to wherever I want it to be. I also can right click to turn it just like you can with any other fusion electronics component. And one thing worth pointing out here is that the image always comes with the little text string here of the, the location of the image. So this is something you probably want to simply delete before uh, proceeding. All right, and then if you're happy with this image here, we can then push it to whatever layer we would like it to be. So I can you can highlight it, and then I can, in the properties and for the rectangles, I can change where I want my image to be. So typically, I probably would place it onto the top place layer here, together with, with all my other uh, silkscreen information. Or if you want, well, you can see. Need to reset my selection filter here because now I can no longer select it since it's no longer on layer 200. You can produce another copy of it. Control C, Control V. No. Nah. Giving me a hard time here. So let's place this here. And in this case, I actually want to push it onto the copper layer. Let's say my top layer. And now I have this image here on the copper layer. And then if I go and produce my uh, 3D PCB, you find that I now have my logo here imported on my PCB. And I also have something somewhat resembling uh, my logo here on my copper layer, if that's something you want. You have to play a little bit with the scaling because uh, there are only certain resolutions that produce nice images on my copper layer. Uh, all right, so hopefully this is helpful to somebody. If so, please give it a like and uh, maybe subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.